this movie is about con artists. Is that something that attracted you to this role? Absolutely. I mean, that's actually me on the poster. <laughs> you, know, you just don't know what to expect. Uh, yeah, I mean, what really uh, drew me to the movie was the fact that I was reading the script and you just don't know what's going to happen. You know, like so many times you, 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 you read a script and you're like, oh, yeah, I totally know where this is going. But in this particular case, it's the total opposite. Like, you just don't know what's going to happen next. So I found that very compelling and I just had to be a part of this. Was it as much fun to make as it was to watch? Yeah, I, I mean, uh, the co-writer directors, John and Glenn, they, they really allowed for a safe atmosphere for actors to do their thing. And, uh, and I was really excited to be a part of that because I got a chance to, to improvise with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. And I mean, did you see the movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you saw some of the things that came out of my mouth towards <laughs> Margot uh, that I'm going to hell for. But, uh, <laughs> you know, they allowed me to just kind of like be myself and have fun with it. And that was... That, it doesn't get better for an actor. So you improvise that? Some of it, yeah. Oh my gosh, how funny. We would do like one take scripted, and then one take kind of let oh. loose and improvised. And Will Smith loves to improvise, so we did some stuff like in San Telmo in Buenos Aires that was improvised. And uh, some of it's in the film and some isn't, but it, it, it all allowed for us to just have fun with the movie. So what was the most fun experience that you had while filming? Every time I looked at Margot Robbie, that was a fun experience. I mean, I cannot think of a more beautiful person. Inside and out, she was just really cool. Um, but I remember one time we were like in New Orleans, and it's like three in the morning. And it's that scene in the car where we're kind of like driving around. And we were just improvising and going around the Superdome. And, and I just thought to myself, this is awesome, you know? And people were like on the street, Will Smith, Will Smith, you know? Like, and it just kind of like, it felt really good to me personally because, like, I've been at this a while and I, you know, struggling along, and it just felt like I was like a marathon runner, and and someone on the sidelines just reached out and handed me like a cup of champagne, you know, <laughs> and that's focus. Yeah. So tell me about working with <clears throat> Will Smith. Is he like a jokester when he's not on screen? He, I tell you, he's 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 Willy Wonka, man. He's <laughs> he's he's the Pied Piper. So many times, like you would be able to gauge like the temperature of the room and see that maybe people were getting tired or whatever. And he would just like start dancing. Like seriously, he would just like, let me hear some music, put on some music and he would start dancing and all the extras would like, yeah, let's get into it again. Um, so he was really good at that. It's just understanding what's going on and what his role was to be the leader. And he led, he really yeah. did. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, Tell me about your character, Farhad. <laughs> Crazy name for you. Right? Yeah, Farhad means basically screw it. You know, like this guy can say and do whatever he wants to do. He's just completely fearless, has no conscience, just says what he wants to say. And, uh, but really in the movie, what I connected to was his loyalty to Nikki, played by Will Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, like he is his spiritual brother. And that was like the common ground I had with the character in that like in my life, like whoever is in my life, like, I am there for them, absolutely, completely faithful. And that's what Farhad is to Nikki. So that's like the common ground I've found with him. And I heard that you guys worked with a con artist expert. Yeah. Did you learn any tricks of the trade? Apollo Robbins, and I do have your necklace if you want it back. Um, <laughs> <Aha>. <laughs> he actually put it back already. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, this guy is like the real deal. Um, I had dinner with him once, and he did some sleight of hand tricks. Um, and I remember him telling me that you have to really, really be emotionally invested on whatever lie you say, like really, really commit to it more than you would in life because it's all about distraction. So I can sit here and I can tell you just how absolutely breathtakingly beautiful you are and how I love that blue sweater and that lipstick and <laughs> that hair. And meanwhile, I just took your watch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you practice it's any all of that on your about friends? The, uh, if I had friends, I would have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Tell me what's next for you because I understand you're working with the Golden Globe hosts in a movie. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Sisters. That's coming yeah. out. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler. Yeah. Yeah. I play kind of like a uh, like a hard edged cop that gives them a hard time in that. Um, and I also have my own stuff that I'm developing. There's going to be a big announcement that's South by Southwest by Time Warner that I'm really excited about. Um, so, yeah, good days, good yeah, times. That sounds great. Thank you so much for talking to hey, us today. Hey, thank you. Absolutely.